I just saw the craziest thing on Facebook. Someone was talking about the economy and this was the exact state that the globalist, the Trump economy was just too good and the globalists had to wreck the Trump economy. I was like, live it. I kind of lost it. I was like, dude, you need to wake up. Here's the thing, the, the Trump economy is being exposed. The bond market, the markets were due to tank because the Fed stepped in. There's all types of manipulation. This, this Trump stuff is fascinating. How many people have put their faith in a con man? This guy is a con man. He doesn't know what he's doing. Lack of an early response at the administration level has led to the United States having the highest infection rate of the virus. But there are people who are still like Trump, 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 Magna, make America great, Trump, Trump, Trump. And I'm going to talk about in this video where people are stupid and people are partisan that they will vote against their own best interests because they're wedded to a, a fake ideology. Welcome to another edition of Hustlers Kung Fu, which is sponsored by Hustlers Kung Fu Live, lifeskills.com, where we teach you how to make money. We teach you how to manage money. We teach you how to build companies. That's what we're about around here. The best deals, the links are below, or go visit hustlerskungfulifeskills.com. So let's put this in proper perspective. Five million people plus have filed for unemployment the first week in April. So we now have a total of 16.6 .6 million people who don't have a job. As I referenced to my fake American economy video, the economy was stronger and rooted in economic fundamentals, the fall would have not been so swift. We have 16.6 .6 million people. I predict that we're gonna have 30 million people without jobs by the end of the month. And this is going to force people, because right now people are like, open the economy, open the economy, let those old people die. And this is where people are, because one of the fundamental things that I teach is proper money management, which is a situation that is rapidly not deployed in America. Many people just don't want to manage their money correctly. Many pe businesses don't manage their money correctly. And this, this whole thing of being saved by someone, mark my words, there will be a second stimulus package. Even at the time of this recording, the first stimulus package has not been deployed and no one has gotten any money. But let's dive deep into the problem. America is about to expose itself for being an ignorant country. Right now, I see it all over Facebook. I see these comments. It's only a cold. This is being pushed by the GOP. What's gonna happen is people who have these mindsets are gonna to have to get sick themselves or have someone close to them die. That's the only way they're gonna get it. They're not gonna get it any other way. They're gonna keep saying these things because there is a level of obstinance and stubbornness that is unreconcilable. Because when I saw that comment, really you think that literally millions of people around the world are getting sick and potentially millions of people are gonna die to make Trump look bad. The American economy was very fragile. On this channel, I've been giving you data, I've been giving you numbers for two years about the fake American economy. And right now what's happening would not be happening if the American economy was stronger. Let's go back to the 1950s. Let's go to Detroit. If you were someone leaving Alabama like my uncle Martin did and you moved to Detroit within a week, you were working at Ford, General Motors, Pontiac, and you were paid a wage that enabled you to buy a house and have a family and send your kids to college. That's the last time the American economy was strong. What had happened is some smart MBAs figured, hey, if we farm out 
our manufacturing to a foreign country and pay them third world wages, then we can make more profit. And that literally destroyed the American middle class because my Uncle Martin, I think he didn't even graduate high school. There used to be a path from being broke to getting a job, going, getting that job, getting training and moving up. You've had company vice presidents that started in the mail room, company vice presidents that never went to college. They literally just worked their way up the ranks and got promoted because they did a good job. That path has been removed from most American companies. This happened to me. I was working for Voice Dream, which now is T-Mobile, and I was salesman of the month and I got let go. And this is one of the things that started to happen. It used to be when you did a really good job, a solid job, you got promoted. You got held on, you made more money. In the fake American economy, that no longer holds true. You could do a really good job and you could still end up losing your job. As many of the 16.6 million people have found out. And one of the things that is gonna come out of this, and this is just my opinion, is that many people are gonna become self-employed. Long after this is over, there are gonna be people who are gonna be thinking, I worked this job, I did a good job. I got let go, I didn't have no money. My, my family suffered, I suffered, even the Fido the dog suffered. And they're gonna be thinking about this and they're gonna be thinking long and hard because every time we have a crisis, there is a reaction to the crisis and there's a reaction to the crisis after the crisis. And I think one of the biggest reactions is gonna be is that many people are gonna to start to try to form their own business. There are many business owners that laid people off, but the business owner is fine. The business owner has made a lot of money. If he was smart, he segmented his money. He had surplus cash. He's good to go, him and his family. But for the average worker, they got the big, you gotta go and we ain't gonna pay you. And this is just more evidence of how fragile the American economy is. And so many people don't want to look upon the truth of the American economy, which has been in trouble and has been propped up by the Fed and all of these stimulus packages and all of these bailouts. This has been going on for years. And now I'd hope after this global reset, because that's what's going on, this is literally touching every country on the planet, that people will get back to basic fundamentals of proper money management. Because if you look at your great grandparents and you thought they were weird and they had a lot of peculiar ways because they were impacted, indelibly altered because of the Great Depression. It, they just knew what it was like to live under such harsh conditions. And this is something that we as Americans are about to find out. Now, I've had my harsh condition wake up call. I've been through it. I know what can happen. This is why I govern my behavior toward one of extreme practicality and extreme money management. Because I know what waits for those who do not. And we're gonna have many people who are gonna fall through the cracks, they're gonna fall through the safety nets, they're gonna suffer hardship, and it's gonna be really bad and sad. But we have so many folks who are clinging, like right now, the economy is toast and the stock market is going up. And there are some people who are so preoccupied with Trump and the stock market. That's all they see. They don't see that their neighbor next door lost his job. They don't, they're, they're not even paying attention to that. It's all this stuff about Trump because there is a certain level of idol worship with Trump. And frankly, in my opinion, the man doesn't deserve it, but I will give Trump credit. He is a great salesman because he sold a bunch of ignorant hillbillies that he is their savior and many of them believe it. And even as their fingers are grasping as the dirt, as their coffins, their financial coffins are being lowered into the ground, they're going to still be having faith in Trump. Even to the end. And that's how deep the programming is. But I want you 
to listen to this video and I want you to understand that a virus doesn't care about Trump. This was something that the Chinese government let get out the country. They didn't practice the right protocols and now the rest of the world has to suffer. And this is what it is. And I, I want you guys to, if you're in the position, because I know I'm speaking to people in various positions. There's some of you who still have your jobs. There's some of you who still have income. There's some of you who've been laid off. And there are some of you who absolutely have no money and you're freaking out. And I know what that freak out moment is. When you look and you have bills and you have obligations and over here, there's no money. It is a hard, hard place to be in. So my heart goes out to you. And next time, and hopefully you will get through this not deeply damaged because with the fake American economy and the stimulus package that the government passed and they rushed through, this could collapse the mortgage industry, which will trigger a wave, a seismic wave in the stock market. Because if these mortgage companies go under and they, these mortgage companies, they have bills to pay. If they're not being paid money, then they can't pay their bills to the bondholders. And then the bondholders lose money and the bondholders are in the stock market. So it's going to be a trickle up effect that's going to be cataclysmic because we're talking trillions of dollars here of mortgages. And this is one of the things that no one's really talking about because, you know, we're watching the stock market go up, it go down, it goes up. I think for the last three or four days, it's been going up, which defies logic. And many people will continue to tell you, go ahead and invest money in the stock market. Just put money in the stock market. It's going to be OK. I feel that we're going to have a depression level event with the stock market where it's going to fall for a few years because the backlog of all these failed policies and bad money management is coming home to roost because make no mistake about it. There are many small businesses that are going to go under. They're just not properly capitalized to survive this. They're going to go under and everyone that is employed by these small businesses is going to lose their job. And then this is going to create a seismic ripple across the economy because these people are not being paid. They don't have any money to contribute to the economy. And if they don't have any money to contribute to the economy, that's going to slow the economy down. I don't care how much of a stimulus package they do. I don't care how much the stock market goes up. The economic fundamentals will come home to roost sooner or later. And the fact is having 16 million people unemployed, 16.6 .6 million people who don't have jobs, who don't have any money to contribute to this economy. And I make a prediction that at the end of the month, we're going to have around 30 million people unemployed. 30 million people with no jobs. 30 million people with car payments, 30 million people with rent or mortgage payments, 30 million people with student loan payments, 30 million people with obligations that they will not be able to fulfill. You know, I, I've saw some people hope because for a few days, the death toll in New York kind of went down. Then it jumped up. People are clinging to any hope, any positivity because someone's like the tide is turning. And I'm just like, no, it's not. It's not turning because every day I look at this map and I see that it's growing across the country and Georgia may become an epicenter and Texas may become an epicenter because each state already has almost 10,000 cases. And once we get to 15, 16,000, because for everything that you know, you can triple that number times three. So if we have 15,000 cases that are confirmed and tested, that means we probably have 45 to 50,000 people walking around with it. And the same thing for Texas. And what's going to happen, and I hate to see this, but I'm, I'm, an, I'm an American. I live in the United States of America. I know how Americans think. And there is a certain level of mistrust of government. There's a certain level of mistrust of doctors. There's a certain level of mistrust where the, once again, Trump and the hillbillies, It's just going to have to, it's going to be much worse than it has to be because of the American spirit, the way that we're programmed, the way that we're orientated. And 
it's just going to be carnage because if this thing leaves New York and it comes down to North and South Carolina and Georgia, we're going to have a, a serious, serious problem because the healthcare systems in those states are not as robust as New York's healthcare state, uh, new healthcare system, which is buckling under the weight of this. And I have people who live in New York and they say that folks are literally dying in their homes and they're picking up the bodies later. And these numbers are not factored into the corona caseload. People are literally dying at home. Then a few days later, someone knocks on their door and finds out that they're dead. This is something that is really scary. This is something that is um, unprecedented. And there are many people who still think that this is a joke. They don't think it's that serious. And they're like, open up the economy because we, we have a choice as Americans. And I have a feeling I know what this choice is going to be. We can open up the economy and have even more people die, or we can continue to practice social distancing and shelter in place, and then this curve flattens out. I feel that we're gonna open up the economy because once we get to 30, 35 million people unemployed, the pressure is going to be on Trump like he's never had in his life. And he clearly wants to open up the economy. And what they're gonna do so they're going to open up the economy and they're going to say wear a face mask and practice social distancing. It's a hard thing when you look at it. I mean, you have a lot of people die or you have a lot of people starve. These are the economic realities that we're dealing with. And I feel since I'm an American, I live here. I know how we think. I know how we do that. They're going to open, because I mean, people on the Facebook are like, open up the economy. Uh, Jordan Bedford made one of the most idiotic videos because he doesn't even have the right information. He says, like, what, 400 people died? No, Jordan, 15,000 people have died, and the number is growing. And you, you have many of these self-proclaimed Americans who are making this content without diving into the details, without studying this thing, because they feel that it's not that serious. And it's not that for, to them, it's just not that serious because no one they know has it or they've not been sick. And unfortunately, that's going to change. Going forward, you're going to know someone who has it. You're going to know someone who's gotten sick and you're going to know someone who's died. And at that point, it becomes extremely real. But we have 16.6 .6 million people unemployed. And I feel that number is going to hit 30 million by the end of this month. And that's going to be a serious blow to the economy. And based upon the way the stock market is acting, we have 30 some million people unemployed and the stock market is going to go up. It's going to go up because the stock market is emotional because I feel that the stock market is going to start, start dropping once the average investor runs out of money. That's when we're going to see a big change in the stock market because right now, you have all of these personal finance YouTubers, invest, 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 put money in the stock market. And you have people who don't even have the proper financial house who are investing money in the stock market. And when it runs out, and it will, this is when you're gonna see the reflection in the stock market and the stock market is gonna start diving. It's just gonna start diving because when you look at the economic fundamentals and of business, these businesses are not in business. They're not making money. There's no way that their stock price can keep defying gravity. Because the emotion, because like I was having a conversation with a Bitcoin bull on Facebook and I asked him a simple question. How much money does Bitcoin make you? And he completely dodged that question because there are many people who believe in Bitcoin the way that people believe in Trump. I don't care how many times it crashed. I don't care how bad of an investment it is. They're going to believe because they're Bitcoin bulls, just like Trump loyalists. I don't care what he does. I don't care what he says. I don't care who he insults. I don't care how racist he is. These people are going to still follow Trump, just like these people still follow Bitcoin. And they, they have this belief that defies logic. I was in Bitcoin. I held on to it and I sold it at the top of the market and I have not bought any more. And pretty much, if you've been watching the channel or you've been my Facebook friend, my predictions have come true. That it's going to crash. And 
there's many there's many people hope that once the stock market starts crashing that bitcoin is going to go up in price i don't think that's going to happen because the bitcoin has been following a close correlation between the stock market and also here's another thing remember the 16.6 .6 million people who are unemployed once that number hits up to 30 where's the money going to come from to buy stock where's the money going to come from to buy bitcoin because there's a lot of people who are going who are bitcoin bulls who are in the stock market who are going to lose their jobs and they're not going to have the money to play these games and once the money runs out the true economic fundamentals of bitcoin the stock market will be revealed and they're not going to be pretty because the both bitcoin and the stock market are naked and there are many people with the bitcoin bulls you don't understand cryptocurrency you know what i will give you that because that's one of the reasons i don't invest in it because i don't understand it but i do understand how to generate and make some money do you probably not because this is one of the reasons that people are piling into the Bitcoin and piling into the stock market because they don't know how to start businesses and make money. So they're hoping to get rich from these devices because they don't have to do anything except purchase it and hold on to it. That's all that's required. Where starting a business, you have to do some things. You have to be active. You have to make moves, you have to market, you have to promote, you have to sell, you have to assemble your products, you have to get to know your customer base. It's a whole different ball game. And I feel that at the end of this, many people are going to choose to get into starting businesses because I think this is thing is going to bring manufacturing back. Right now there's someone who's laid off, he's sitting at home looking at his wife and he's on the internet and he's figuring out how he can bring a manufacturing plant back to his town and employ himself and his neighbors. This is happening right now. There are many people who are taking stop. They're reevaluating their lives. They're looking at things totally differently. And we're going to see manufacturing come back to America. We're going to see uh, people start to deploy proper money protocols. And Dave Ramsey is going to come out of this looking like a god. Dave Ramsey already has a cult like following. This is just going to make it stronger because there are going to be many people who are going to start going to the Dave Ramsey courses after this and they're going to realize like man if i had listened to dave ramsey i wouldn't have suffered all this economic pain and that you're going to see a lot of stuff that's going to come out of this my, my me myself I, i'm going to get richer and I, I don't tell you that to rub salt in your you know salt in your wounds and i don't tell that to brag and boast i just tell you the power of providing a service and serving your fellow man because all these people who are trying to get wealthy through rent seeking they're going to fail but if you go ahead and put a business together because a, a lady she commented on the channel and she's like she has real estate she's got a business and she bought her son a, a box truck and he rides around all day in the hazmat suit doing deliveries there's so much economic opportunity in this if you're willing to work and that's what I think we're going to get a movement to people working again. We're going to get a movement to rug, back to rugged individualism. We're going to get a movement of folks like, I need to be self-sufficient. This is what's going to come out of this. And this is things I've been preaching because right now, I guarantee you, there are people who have not found this YouTube channel. They're going to find it. They're going to gravitate to the message. They're going to spend money and they're going to start building up their lives. That's what's going to happen. And this is why I'm going hard, because as I've told you guys, there's opportunity in recessions. There's so much opportunity, but you have to be in the proximity of that opportunity. So hopefully you got something out of this. Hopefully this message finds you healthy and safe and maybe maybe just a little bit freaking out because these are going to be uncertain times. But we'll get through it. We always do. It's just a matter of when. And this is what the big question that everyone's asking. When is this going to be over? When are we going to be able to stop these shelter in place? And I have a feeling that this is going to happen for a while. And just buckle up and every day use the Internet and school up, develop new skill sets so you can emerge out of this thing better and healthier and wealthier. So with that, I got another video here. I want you to check it out. Be sure to watch it.